for the first time since its inception in 1989, the World Mixed Team Championships was played outside of Asia or Europe. The Total BWF Sudirman Cup 2017 was held in Gold Coast, Australia, and this marked several other firsts as well. Most significantly, countries from the South Pacific region like Fiji, New Caledonia, Guam and Tahiti got to make their maiden appearance in a major international tournament. In the last two years, they've been preparing for this. They've been working very hard, the grassroots, the, you know, everybody is like very excited. So, you know, from a development point of view, you can't get a better platform for Oceania region. Oceania does not really have that broad of a base of spectators um, for badminton. So by being here, I think it raises the awareness of the sport and brings it more prestige to know that there is such an event for badminton and so hopefully it will incite more interest in the sport and then they will come in and join and play. I think it's something great because we have never been in a world championship. The fact that the Sudirman Cup takes place in Gold Coast allows us to travel here and participate because it would have been too expensive to go. While these member associations face numerous challenges in developing badminton, their participation at the Sudirman Cup is expected to go a long way in overcoming some of those obstacles. They, were, they didn't take a lot of convincing. They wanted to be here. We didn't have to convince them they wanted to play on the world stage here in Oceania. We just had to make it possible financially. That was, that's their biggest barrier. And then we assisted them with some of the organisational details. Even though the cost was high and our players really are not that competitive, we decided to come because we want to support our region. It's hosted here and we're excited to be here. And uh, so we've been making plans ever since. The players also had to get ready to play on one of the biggest stages the sport has to offer. It turned out to be one of their most memorable experiences. Uh, well, for most of our team, this is uh, the first international tournament, and what a tournament to be your first, the Sudoman Cup. Um, so it's international exposure, exposure at the highest level. Uh, so anything I guess we do from here won't seem as big and daunting. Perception's always like, we're not good enough. So trying to tell them that no, these events are for everybody and that's how you develop badminton. Um, that was, I guess that was probably one of our biggest challenges as well. But now that they are here, they will be back. Because they are loving it, they're absorbing it, loving it. Aside from putting their best foot forward on court and showing their potential to audiences around the world, the players also got to experience a premier tournament for the first time. And with such high-level contests come international stars. Competing alongside some of the best in the world seem to have the same effect on all the shuttlers from Oceania. There's no word of thing for us. Uh, just. Lin Dan behind me, um, Axel Sun behind me, um, I mean, just amazing for Tahiti to be here. We are very proud, very happy, and I think it will be a huge experience for us and for, for the team, of course, for the players. And they will go back with a lot of star in the eyes, I think. For us, it's important as Oceania to come to the world stage to be able to see the difference or what level, the things that we need to do to improve to become competitive. And if we're not here and we're not seeing the comp levels of competition, then we're basically left in the dark as to where we should be. We're watching highlights and it's different for to watch something on screen and to actually be in the atmosphere. It changes you, it motivates you to actually be better um, and to try and do better, to see the players in action themselves, to see how they do their practices, the warm-up sessions before that, the training that they do on court. It's different sometimes from the way we prepare. For many, this was the experience of a lifetime rubbing shoulders with their idols, watching the best of the badminton action up close, and being part of the high-profile event offered plenty of encouragement to keep their passion going. But we're hoping after this tournament, a lot of players will see what type of competition there are out there and how, what type of levels that they could get to, and they'll push themselves to get uh, more training. Biggest thing is we want these teams to go back uh, to their country and we want these players to go and share their experience with the juniors that are coming through. Um, encourage them, hopefully give them something to work towards and 
We want the juniors in. Next step, we're hoping to get a few of these countries through to the World Junior Champs in Indonesia and just keep progressing and pushing those limits of uh, where they're going and getting new experiences. Having successfully pulled off one of the biggest events on the BWF calendar, Australia and Oceania have opened up the floor for future tournaments in the region. And having checked off participation from their bucket list, countries like Fiji, New Caledonia, Tahiti and Guam will be looking to up their level of competition.